everyone, I am Fatma. Today we are going to talk about extreme weather. Could you please repeat after me? Extreme weather. Extreme weather. But before jump to the next topic, let's review last topics. Okay guys, draw the lines to match the animals to where they live. Listen to carefully and please write in your notebook. Okay, I'm gonna record it. Please listen carefully. Lives in dry places. Lives in dry places. Mm -hmm. You may pause the video and write in your notebook. Lives in clean water. Lives in clean water. Again, please pause the video and write in your notebook. Lives on ice and snow. Lives on ice and snow. Lives under the soil. Lives under the soil. Lives close to the seashore. Lives close to the seashore. Lives close to hills, mountains, or cliffs. Lives close to hills, mountains, or cliffs. Okay, please write all the questions in your notebook. Okay, we have next questions. Look and choose the correct words. The first one. Which animal might live in a river? Fish, cat or monkey? Which one? Please write in your notebook. Which animal ma might live in a tree? Bird? Earthworm or shark? Please take a note. Which animal might live in water or on land? God, fish or frog? Okay. Write please in your notebook. We have next question here. Drag the words to complete the sentence. Listen carefully, okay? Write write all the sentence. Please write all the sentence in your notebook and listen carefully. A rainy day is wet. A rainy day is wet. A sunny day has no clouds. A sunny day has no clouds. A very cold day has snow and ice. A very cold day has snow and ice. A windy day has strong wind. A windy day has strong wind. Okay, you have all the questions. Okay, you already did it, I think. And after when you finish your writing, please upload it in class dojo. Don't forget to upload it in class dojo. Have you ever seen the extreme weather in these pictures? Like heavy snow, heavy rainy, heavy wind? How would you keep safe in this weather? How would you? 
So today we are going to talk about what is a thunderstorm. As you see on the screen, it's heavy rainy. At the higher altitude, what a water vapor turns into a fog. That is small droplets of water now clouds of the different shapes are formed from the fog. But in order to get rain with a thunderstorm, the clouds need at the top of the cloth, it is so cold that the water zone begins to freeze and ice uh, crystals are formed. Then these crystals begin to fall and become the centers of the uh, formation of large drops of water which do move down. Look at the cloth. It stop, uh, settles down and becomes flat and this means that large drops are already flying down and rain will soon pour out of the cloud. So do you know what is lightning? So we can create small electric sparkles in the dark. If we uh, rub a balloon uh, against hair or uh, cloth woolen, look, there are the sparkles. So, lightning is the same electric part, only many times bigger. Look at again. So, what is the thunder we hear during a thunderstorm? Remember, when we create spark with a friction, we heard clicks, just like lightning. is many times greater than our sparks. Okay, it's very important to know about safety during a thunderstorm. Usually lightning strikes high objects, therefore during a thunderstorm you shouldn't hide from rain under a tree. During a thunderstorm it is dangerous to be in the water or even near any body of water uh, as water conducts an electric uh, current. but to watch a thunderstorm from the window of your house uh, is safe and interesting keeping safe in extreme weather look at book or the internet do some researches about one of extreme weathers you could choose weather like heavy snow hurricanes or tornadoes make a poster to show what to wear and how to keep safe in this weather thank you so much see you next time take care